Okay, so in this uh, final lesson, our final video tutorial in rhythm study number three, uh, we're going to take a look at the dynamics of the piece. And as you'd learnt from um, learning rhythm study number two, dynamics is to do with the volume that you play at. So um, the dynamics, I think, are a little bit simpler uh, if you were to compare them to study number two. Um, at the beginning of the piece, you'll see a little small P at the start um, just in the very first bar and that's telling us that we need to play softly and again as I had explained in, um, when looking at rhythm study number two if you think about it in terms of your voice you want to speak nice and softly if you, um, just like I'm speaking now okay and you want to try and create a soft voice uh, with your guitar Okay, so we're not going to play that. Uh, I'm going to play the first four bars uh, with playing softly. And as we'd also talked about, uh, when you're playing softly, uh, you want to try and maybe bring your pick more towards the front of the sound hole to get a softer tone or a softer sound from your guitar. Okay, so after four, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Once then you move into line number two, starting on the E minor chord, you see a little F underneath there, and that's now telling us to play loudly. So we want to just kind of up the volume, and we want to try and create a nice, strong, confident voice uh, with our guitar. Just as I'm talking now, you want to try and almost recreate the same thing on your guitar. So we're going to play nice and loudly this time, and because we're playing loudly, um, what we're also going to do in order to try and create um, a tone from our guitar or a sound that suits that loud strumming, we're going to move our pick more towards the back of the sound hole, okay? And as we'd said from looking at instrument number two, that creates a thinner but um, stronger sound, okay? So um, that will work for us when we're strumming nice and loudly. So we're going to play the second line, okay? So after four, one, two, three, four, and... Okay, so we're now gonna combine lines one and two. So line one is nice and soft and gentle, and then the second line we're playing strong and loudly. Okay, so here we go, after four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so once you um, get all that put together, what you're aiming to do is have nice smooth chord changes moving from one chord to the next nice and smoothly, also using the right strumming pattern. Then once you get that, once you feel comfortable with that, then add in your dynamics, add in the, your, your soft at the beginning and loud on the second line. And then when you feel you've got the volume right, you can even add in this little part where you change the position of your pick to get a different tone or a different sound from your guitar. If you get all that together, I'm sure you'll do very well uh, in your exam. And uh, I'll see you in the next Zoom lesson.